Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the women's flyweight bout between Denise Kilholtz versus Kana Watanabe. And how's this one right here? So Jinyu Watanabe. Um, I forgot her name right now already. But yeah, Kana Watanabe versus um, Denise Kilholtz. I see this one right here. Kana Watanabe, to me, she has some of the most horrendous striking, horrendous striking defense. She looked look like a bean pole. She's out there standing straight up, linear line on the feet. Solid grappling, for sure. Offensive the wrestling ain't the greatest. But on the ground, you give her top position, she can be a problem. And definitely for a fighter like Kilholz, who's a striker, come from a striking background, still very green in MMA, if she could get her down. But I, like I, said, I don't really like her offensive takedown. I really like, I don't like that. I like her on the ground. If it goes there, I feel like Kilholz has surprisingly improved significantly, like significant, like, I can't say regular words, has improved significantly, significantly, significantly. Yeah, I don't know why I'm struggling with regular words. Again, fight cards half right now, and I'm rushing words out of my mouth more than I'm already rush words, and now I'm really rushing words, and I can't even pronounce stuff that I easily pronounce. But, yeah. I feel like Kilholz has improved significantly in a very short amount of time, so I feel like she should be able to hold her own with Kana Watanabe. Just my concern is if she ends up like on her back, that's the issue. Like she's up on her on the ground, or matter of fact, gives up her back. That's a big concern. Like she give her back, and um, Watanabe starts sinking some hooks or something. That's a bad look. Or she's on her back, you know, spends too much time on her back, and then she can't get up. Like she needs to be in that position and keep it on the feet. But I feel like I, I trust her takedown defense here because, like I said, I don't really like Kana Watanabe. Watanabe's takedowns, her striking is horrendous. So the setup takedowns, you gotta have some decent striking. Her tight striking is horrendous. Her striking defense is horrendous. Unless she made improvements, but last time I seen it, disgustingly horrendous. And every other time, disgustingly horrendous. So I just feel like um, Kel should be keep us on feet. Should have a real easy target to hit. I think she'd be able to find that target pretty easily. But these women be tough, and it's not like I only kill hosts that ever been a really really big puncher. You know she come from a high level kickboxing background. For some reason she's not like the greatest finisher out there. So I'm gonna say like it's gonna be a decision. Gonna be probably get a couple drops on there, maybe get a drop. Probably hurt her a couple times. Why not? I feel we'll get some takedowns, but I feel like more, more like the, the story really gonna be Kilholz landing significant damage and why not be being a blanket at some time? Like you know, getting mauled or getting tagged up, then maybe getting a takedown. Maybe um Kilholz might catch us get slipped and like say real easy fight to judge, but why not be gonna be able to survive? You know, with her grappling, with her grappling basically at points. And also, it's not like Kyoto is the biggest puncher or the greatest finisher or has yet to prove that in MMA. So, I'm going to say decision for um, Denise Kilholtz. So, in this fight, I got Denise Kilholtz via decision.